In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at how to capture audio files from a CD and bring them directly into your PowerDirector project. You don't have to use a third-party ripping software to do this. We also remind you it's important to follow copyright regulations when you're dealing with audio CDs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip I have in my media room and drag it down to track one. And we'll place it in here. Let's see. There we go. And this is just a background track I took of some uh, uh, blooming trees here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to mute the audio since the audio in this track is nothing more than ambient noise. And then I'm going to move down to the bottom and here I have my music track and I'd like to put some music in the background while these trees are blowing in the wind as it were and I want to take that from a CD. How do I do that? Well I simply go to capture to the left of the edit in the upper left corner and click on there and then it will give me different ways in which I can capture. The default is the microphone. I'm going to use the third item from the right which is capture from a CD. When I click on here, it automatically detects my CD, which is in my drive L, my CD player, and then it gives me a number of tracks I can pick from. And so I'm going to pick, uh, just for fun, the second track down. And now what I can do is, I see that it's 2 minutes and 42 seconds. I have a destination where I'm going to record that particular clip. And so I'll go ahead and click on the red record button and it will automatically begin. I'll hear my CD player start to whirl and uh, the recorded length is being re is here and the recorded amount of, of uh, time. And so in no time at all, I have those 2 minutes and 42 seconds. I can go ahead and give it a name. This song is called God and King. I'll take it and I'll click on OK. Not only have I stored it on my hard drive, I brought it into my project. Now I go back to my edit mode by clicking the button at the top and now I have a link in the media room uh, to my audio, my WAV file called God and King. I'll take that and I'll drag it down to uh, my audio track and then I'll go ahead and we'll play my video with my new audio. This looks very hot. I would probably want to edit it because of all the yellow. But I'll go ahead. Lord, as we come. And that's a very simple way to uh, take audio that you have the rights to and put it on your project in Cyberlink PowerDirector. We hope you found this short exercise helpful. Thanks again.